We're back with part three. Ooh. Everybody enjoys helping each other. Good. If Annie and Clarabelle come off the track, who do you think can help Thomas get them back on their wheels? Harvey! Harvey. Harvey loves helping his friends. <laughs> he carefully lifts Annie and Clarabelle up and puts them safely back on the track. Yep. Ooh. Gordon pulls the express up Gordon's hill. But when he has lots of coaches, he has to go slowly, and sometimes he needs help. <laughs> Who can help Gordon and his coaches get safely up the hill? Edward, of course. Edward. He's been Edward doing that ever since his debut. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. And what if James suddenly broke down? <gasps> oh, my poor Jamesy. Oh. oh. Now James can't go anywhere. Oh. But James isn't worried. Oh? He knows he has lots of friends who can help. Oh, that's wonderful. Bertie the bus can take his passengers to the station. Ooh, that's very nice. Mm-hmm. And Thomas is happy to tow James to the repair yard to be fixed. Oh, good job, Thomas. <laughs> James's job for him while he is away. Well, that's wonderful. Friends help each other no matter what. And everyone will welcome James back when he is ready to be really useful again. <sighs> there are always lots of jobs to do on the island of Sodor. Helping one another makes Sir Topham Hatt's railway run smoothly. As it should. Yep. Okay, what's next? As good as Gordon. Oh, another Emily episode. All the engines were working very hard. Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. He had exciting news. Ooh! Gordon is to take the new mayor of Sodor on a special tour of the island. Ooh! Rainbow Dash would love to... See him do that. Who will take the express, sir? He asked. Oh yeah. The other Without Gordon, the the express won't have an but engine. The express was an important job. <gasps> Everyone wanted to be chosen, but Sir Topham Hatt chose Emily. Yep. When Sir Topham Hatt left, <laughs> Emily was very happy, but Gordon wasn't impressed. Huh? The express is the longest passenger train on the island. Oh. I always cross the island twice by tea time. You'll never do that. Uh -oh. I've got big wheels and I'll do my best, said Emily. <sighs> big wheels don't make a big engine, posted Gordon. That and is true in a way. Thomas thought Gordon Not... was showing off. Twice before tea time, he puffed. That will be hard. Yeah, but actually it will be. To Thomas. I'm going to be as good as Gordon. Oh boy. With an idea like that, there's bound to be trouble. I know. She was looking forward to taking the express, but it was very, very heavy. Oopsie. as she slowly pulled out of the station. Oops. But she pulled away too soon and left the brake coach behind. Uh oh. Not good. Oh boy. Oh dear. I was right. Trouble. Emily had crossed the island once in good time. Oh. I am as good as Gordon, she puffed well, proudly. Alas, it won't last. Uh oh. Emily had to wait for Edward at the crossing. Edward went as fast as he could. But it wasn't fast enough for Emily. Uh oh. Hurry up, slow coach, she cried. Uh, or you will make me late. Emily! Edward felt sad. That was Edward very was rude. Dumb. And very unfriendly. Edward can't help being slow sometimes. The express was a guaranteed connection with Bertie the bus. Oh. Bertie hadn't arrived. Huh? He had a flat tire and was running late. Uh oh. Emily tried to wait. She counted. 
just did 10. Twice. But she counted kind of 20, actually. I'm going to be the slowest engine on Sodor, she cried. And it's not my fault. Emily, no! Wait! Emily, no! And Birdie just arrived as soon as she was leaving. Oh. Emily's being super, super impatient. Exactly. He was pulling the slow goods train. Oh. Emily wanted to go first. It doesn't matter if you are late, she said. You must wait your turn, said James Crossley. Indeed. Such such rude behavior will not be accepted. And more trouble to add to the mix. Oops. Oh, Emily, you're clearly not cut out for this kind of job. Whoops. Oh boy. Finally, Emily could see random docks up ahead. Twice before tea time, she puffed happily. I am as good as Gordon. I wouldn't be too sure. There was trouble. Here it is. Emily slowed down. Uh oh. What's happening to me? She cried. You're out of water. Oh, Emily. Emily had <sighs> Well, you cannot say she did not have this coming to her. For how rude she's been. For once, I actually agree with you, Rarity. Sir Topham had arrived on board James. He was very cross. You should have waited, said Sir Topham Hatt sternly. And now you have caused confusion and delay. You left the brake coach, stranded Bertie's passengers, and bumped your coaches. You must learn to be more patient. Indeed, I couldn't have said that better myself, sir. Right. She felt very bad. She was only trying to be as good as Gordon. I'm sorry, sir, she said sadly. Well, Gordon does it his way. You should do it the right way, or whatever way is good. <sighs> Emily she can learn to be patient to this time. Job. Yeah. So after she took on water and lots of coal, Emily buffered up to the slow goods train. And this time, wait. And nothing got left behind this time. She stopped at all the right stations. And waited, hopefully. Sure! And she let all the other engines go first. Good! Hopefully she apologized to Edward for her rudeness. Surely she, she did, Rarity. Thomas was waiting there. Hey, Thomas. I am learning patience, Emily Park. But if only I could learn it faster. <laughs> Emily! Uh -huh. uh. Okay, I think it's time for one another break.